In this video, I'm going to discuss about something very interesting regarding pagination and SEO. Now, a lot of you might not know this, but pagination in many instances can affect SEO. Now, our goal in this video is to understand how this happens and why this happens. Well, first of all, we all know that SEO, all this does is it helps us index our page. Basically, it helps us rank our page in Google, right? So basically, the better the SEO of your website, it means the better Google is going to be able to index your page, meaning that it can organize the content in your website in such a manner that it's going to be able to rank your website higher as compared to or maybe lower because a lower rank is always better. So it's going to basically be able to provide a better ranking for your website as compared to other websites in the same domain or just in general. So basically SEO improves the visibility of your website. All right. Now we know that in many applications such as applications that show a list of posts and so on which are very frequent for example applications that have a page which has a bunch of lists like this so in those cases we use something called pagination right because we do not actually want to render all these lists in one go instead let's say if there were 50 100 or maybe a thousand posts or lists or articles or anything so in that case we always make sure that we render these posts bit by bit let's say 10 posts per pages 20 posts per pages or so on so that we don't have to get the bulk data in one go which could take a lot of time to be received from the server to the client so just to ensure we preserve the bandwidth of our website and to optimize our performance we always implement pagination on our websites whenever we have to display a large number of lists right so this part over here is pretty common right implementing pagination in websites but now, as you know, there are three types of pagination. So the first one being something called load more. All right. The second one being infinite scrolling, infinite scrolling. And the third one being page number wise pagination. So something like page one, two, three, four, and so on. So these are generally like this. And you have a bunch of page numbers depending on the total number of results. So these are the three types of pagination. One, two, and three. All right. Now, if you didn't know, amongst these three types of pagination, there are two types of paginations between these three, which can cause SEO issues. And if you want to know which one they are, then they are nothing but load more and infinite scrolling. Now, why is that? Well, to put that in a nutshell, load more and infinite scrolling. Now, hold up. Before I explain why these two cause bad SEO issues, I just want to ensure that you know what infinite scrolling is. Infinite scrolling is where you scroll down a list and when you hit the bottom of the page, the next set of data automatically loads. That's what's infinite scrolling. And in load more, it's just that when you scroll down, there's going to be a load more button. The user is going to click on it. And then the next set of data is going to get loaded. All right. And this one's pretty obvious. It just has one, two, three, four pages and so on. You can click on any page number and go to that particular page. All right. Now, why is load more and infinite scrolling bad for SEO? Well, that's because just think about it. When you land to a page that contains a list such as this, all of this. So if that page has implemented load more or infinite scrolling, then just think about it. If they have implemented load more or infinite scrolling, then it means to render the next set of lists, the user has to manually either scroll down completely and then click load more or they have to scroll down and wait for the auto infinite scrolling to happen. So what does this mean? This means there is a user action that has to be performed for the next set of data to be visible to the user, right? So when Google tries to index your website, the bots that crawl your website to be able to check the content in your, in your page and then rank your page, they are not going to perform that user action on their own. They are not going to click on load more on their own. They are not going to scroll your website down, wait for the other content to load, wait for the new content to come up, then index that content as well. They are not going to do that. The bots aren't going to do that. So this means that in the case for load more and infinite scrolling, when the Google bot crawler comes to your website, it can only be able to index or organize the information present in the first page of the list. Because that's what the bot is going to see. It's only going to see the first page of the list, right? It's not going to go next, next, next on its own. It doesn't have that capability. So imagine you have 10,000 posts, but it's only going to index the number of posts that's there in the first page. So let's say the first page has only 10 posts, then it's only going to index those 10 posts, which is a serious drawback when it comes to SEO, because all the other posts, they are serving no value when it comes to SEO, because the bot isn't able to crawl to them. So 
That's why load more and infrared scrolling can hamper SEO. But why does this form of pagination not hamper SEO? You might wonder that over here as well, we have to click on the individual tabs, right? To go to the next page. Well, the reason this doesn't affect SEO is because all of these individual numbers direct to a different link. So basically they direct to a whole different page and Google can index pages. So when Google comes to page one, let's say it sees 10 posts, it's going to index those 10 posts. Right, it's going to crawl through them. Then to get to the next set of posts, which is page two, it doesn't have to scroll down or do something. It can directly go to this page's URL because it's going to be something like, let's say www.website.com and then something like page two, right? It's going to be something like this. So Google can directly go to this part, this part of the page or this URL, and then it can index the content in that page. So it's not like in one page, there is going to be all data and to access the next set of data, you have to click load more or go down. No, there are different pages for each set of data. So Google can go to those different pages and it can index all those content manually one by one. So this means at least the content in all of these pages in this case is going to be visible to Google because they are all present in separate pages with different links but not in this case. In this case, Google sees only one link. It comes to this link. It sees the content it finds in the first fold and it indexes them and that's it. It's not going to perform any action automatically to go to the next page by scrolling down and waiting for the next data and indexing them, no. But here Google can go to each page because each page has its own set of data and Google can index them one by one. And that's the benefit of having this sort of pagination because this adds more visibility to your website. All right, so if we actually also go to the Google Docs or to the Google's own published articles regarding pagination SEO, we will see the same. So over here, you can see pagination, incremental page loading and their impact on Google search. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but if I go down here, you can see Google also says that there are three types of pagination, pagination, load more, infrared scroll. And this is just mentioning the pros and cons of each of them of pagination, load more and infrared scroll. But if I scroll down, you can see here it says how Google indexes the different strategies. So for example, you can implement pagination using links to new pages on your e-commerce site or using JavaScript to update the page. So this part using JavaScript to update the current page is either load more or the infinite scrolling approach because we either have to click on load more or we have to hit the bottom of the page and using event handlers such as intersection observer, we are going to detect that the user is at the bottom of the page and request for the next set of data. So load more and infinite scrolling use JavaScript, but you can also implement pagination using links to new pages, which is the one, two, three, four approach I was talking about, which is nothing but this part over here. All right. So Google itself says, when crawling a site to find pages to index, Google only follows page links marked up in HTML with A tags. The Google crawler doesn't follow buttons unless marked up with the href and doesn't trigger JavaScript to update the current page contents. So Google isn't going to trigger JavaScript to update the current page contents, which means load more and infinite scroll are useless for pagination. But in this case, where you have page numbers, if these page numbers are wrapped with a A tag, with an anchor tag, with an href pointing to the link to this particular page, then Google is actually going to rank your website because it's going to be able to crawl through each page. So it's going to crawl a site to find pages to index. So it's going to be able to crawl through each page because each page will have a separate URL and it's going to be able to check all the data in each of these pages and crawl through them and ultimately index your page properly. All right, so just keep it in mind that you must try to link pages sequentially if you're very concerned about SEO. So let's say you have a blog website or a news publisher website where you display a bunch of articles, then it's better if you implement this kind of pagination. And especially in news websites, because just think about it, in news websites, articles keep coming every day. So you want any new article to be relevant, right? You want them to be popular. So let's say you uploaded 20 articles today because there was a lot happening in the world. So the news publisher company uploaded 20 articles, but your pagination only allows 10 pages for the first page. And let's say you have infinite scrolling implemented. So the Google crawler is only going to index the first 10 articles and the next 10 articles, which were also uploaded today or maybe yesterday and are, and are equally relevant and popular they won't be indexed at all. So this means all of that hard work you did to publish all the other articles which are not in the first page, they are all going to face a major hit in terms of SEO. And that's why linking pages sequentially is better than infinite scrolling in such scenarios.
So they have also mentioned here to make sure search engines understand the relationship between pages of paginated content, include links from each page to the following page using A tags. Right? This can help Googlebot, the Google web crawler, to find subsequent pages. All right. So I do recommend you to come to this page over here, which is developers.google.com and go through all of these practices. And you can also see there are so many other content over here as well. I would recommend you to go through all of this and get to know more about SEO. Just like this very important information on pagination and SEO. So keep all of this in mind and I hope now you are clear regarding which to use when between these three different methods of pagination. Alright, so with that, I'm done with this video and if you found it insightful, then drop a like and subscribe for more.